Uh, Padma, firstly, can you hear me? So, Padma, uh, you know, you, you've heard all of these politicians speak and, uh, you know, they're, they're playing out their own politics on the ground. Could you tell us a little bit about your father? Because I think this is really about the fact that he was murdered in the way that he was. Do you even remember him? Uh, I was just four weeks old when my father had passed. Four, four and a half years old. And uh, my sister was just one day older than me. Uh, well, I think the entire nation, if, uh, even after 29 years, people are fighting about it. Uh, it's understood the kind of person my father was. So what I'm saying today is, uh, today it's just not about the state of Bihar, about the IAS Officers Association, but it is about the safety of the nation. So uh, what I am uh, personally feeling right now, I'm feeling very low since morning about when, as, as soon as we got to know about this. Uh, our struggle has been extremely painful uh, the last 29 years. It's it's personally, we know how much pain that we had to go through. Uh, it's still in, in our minds, in our hearts. And uh, it, it's, it's, you know, the wholesome, responsible person, uh, Anand Mohan, who had killed my father. Uh, it's because of him that I do not have a father today. So uh, it's very disheartening uh, to uh, see Anand Mohan walk on the roads today. There were a lot of celebrations as well. And uh, I'm, I'm hoping that the Bihar government thinks about this and uh, does not encourage uh, Anand Mohan to come into politics and let a criminal rule over the state. Do you have a legal option before you? Legal option, yes, definitely, because uh, the IAS Officers Association, uh, batchmates of my father, are very strong in particular about this, that they want to, you know, get justice uh, and they're only fighting for this. So their efforts should not go in vain. That's what I'm hoping for. Uh, and uh, rest is all to the nation uh, whom they are going to support. Do you believe that this was done only because of politics on the ground, that this man is a Rajput leader? He's been affiliated with, he's been part of the RGD in the past, and that that's what's going to ultimately happen. He'll return to politics? Absolutely. That's definitely uh, the motive of Nitesh Kumar uh, G to kind of like get him into politics again because probably they could be getting more number of votes. But I think there is a certain emotion that's attached with uh, this entire situation that's going on right now. Uh, and all that I can say today, sir, is I'm just hoping that something really big happens. And uh, uh, it was my father's dream and it was my father's wish that uh, Bihar should change. It should change. And he wanted to bring that change, but he could not. So I'm hoping that uh, PM Modi ji also takes this into consideration. Whatever we are speaking, our voices should be heard today and uh, should not encourage criminals like this because it's just encouraging other criminals to do whatever they want and move away in the society. And this is something that's left your mother absolutely devastated. I spoke to her yesterday. She's stunned by this development. Uh, definitely the effect is more on the family uh, than the nation, but I'm, uh, I'm pretty sure a lot of people who are from Bihar, the majority of Bihar is supporting us and uh, a very few people from Bihar are supporting uh, Anand Mohan. Uh, so listening to all of this is kind of like giving some relief to us, uh, but again, he's out right now. So we are going to appeal to the Supreme Court. And we are hoping that something really positive happens. Padma, could you tell us a little bit about what happened back in 1994? I realize it's a difficult question, but people watching this program, many of them may not know. Uh, well, I remember that day in the night. Uh, I mean, I generally had a habit of sleeping with my dad. Um, and we were waiting uh, for him to come because we already had got the information that he started from uh, the meet. So all of us were sitting outside in the in the garden and then we were waiting for him to come. And then suddenly we get a message from the mobile, from the gate to the office. Uh, and then uh, it was it was a servant who got the news first and then he had him come and passed on the same information to my mother. And there was a jeep that had come, uh, which had taken us to the hospital. And uh, I think uh, I hold a lot of good memories with my dad. And back then, uh, my only question to Anand yeah. Mohan today is everybody is saying that he's free to go because he's only he's kind of like served 14 years of prison uh, in the prison. 
but uh, these 14 years i'm pretty sure he should be he could have been living a good life uh, it's definitely not the same effect that we have had like you know anand mohan sandhi could have had uh, that day in the night like everybody knows uh, he was very uncertain of uh, anything would happen something like this because he believed in the people there uh, he worked for the people there and he never would have thought that the people of bihar would do something like this to him uh, he was attending a meeting uh, that's all i got to know later in my years uh, as i kept growing i understood that the entire situation so like we like everybody reads today everybody knows that he was returning from a meet and then uh, there was a mob Uh, who had saw seen the lal patti and then they thought that they had to attack him so why was anand mohan present that day what was the need of him to be present there in chotan shukla's procession that was going on because he is a criminal he was supporting another criminal and he was the one who instigated the mob to go ahead and attack the vehicle and in spite of my father saying that uh, i am not the dm of muzaffarpur i am the dm of topal ganj he was not left free Yeah. And my dad's intention even in the dying moments was that he wanted to protect the bodyguard maybe he knew that he would be killed but he got back and saved the bodyguard and not himself so i should I, i mean the appeal to the government of india is please do not india is still a developing country only because uh, honest officers are killed like this so uh, all of this should be taken into consideration a sincere officer was you know lynched to death was shot on his face uh, they never even had thought that agar they had so much ag- agitation and then they could have just you know maybe lynched him with stones it was not ness- it was who had given them the rights to kill my father And so I, uh, yes. just the last you know since you were 4 years old how has all of these decades been one huge challenge for him because even the initial conviction of him being sentenced to death happened in what 2007 So that happened what more than a decade after you lost your father right so it, that that fight for justice has taken forever and it's still taking forever right it's still taking forever back in 2008 when we got to know about this uh, you know it kind of gave us solace that he would be in jail until he dies but then later again today we had to I mean, get back to the same place. There's no justice for my dad and people like my dad who are out there, and I'm pretty sure there could be a lot of people who are going through the struggle like I am going through without a father. So, yes, all all of this should be taken into consideration uh, before uh, taking decisions like this and letting criminals out and like, allowing them to, you know, uh, get into politics and all of it. Bihar needs to change. It really needs to change. Look Padma I don't know what to say it's just so sad uh, what has taken place and uh, you know the struggle of you and, and and your family your sister your mother all of these years and to watch that killer of your father walk out uh, I mean I can't even imagine what you are going through but thank you for having the courage and I hope there are people watching this and I hope that there is an avenue of justice still available for you and your family thank you so much for speaking to us thanks so much indeed